okay um, click OK and of course all we've got is a white we want to add a shirt color so we go up here add a new channel a new spot channel and we're gonna call it shirt and you know let's put this on a well go on, on a dark gray shirt like that color right there your solidity has got to be a hundred on your on your white sh on your shirt channel okay fill it in with black just like before okay and it, you can if you know your your channel is going to be reversed here so you can click your white click and hold down and drag it underneath and there it is and here's something interesting um your white base sometimes if you turn everything off here bring up your info which is probably hidden somewhere here um, there it is info palette you take your tool in the background here because sometimes there's a little bitty half tones like two three percent half tones hiding out here and you want to get rid of them because you don't want to have this solid block when you print it down because you know when you wash out your screen you might not see them but as you as you make the run these little half tones start to peek through a little bit you don't want to do that you always want to start with nice crisp clean positives okay separations we're going to run through this real quickly here just for the sake of conversation and the fact that i did not save from the first one select color range we're going to pick the gold out and it's like i said just like in the last one okay and that's metallic gold and for some of you this might be just you know a preview of you know what we did a couple minutes ago in the last tutorial yeah, solidity is five percent now deselect click my RGB make sure my channels are turned off because you know you don't want to get into that mess because sometimes you get some undesired effects when you do that my black black okay spot color five percent and you know you see how easy this is after a while you just wing right through it and you know some images you might have to you might have to do more than once to get you know what you're looking for might get some you know, some hazing in around a letter because sometimes like once in a while you pick a blue here you might get a little faint shadow of blue and about a two percent half tone you can either go in with the eraser tool and erase it all manually which is kind of a pain or you know you can just redo the channel and just kind of zap it out you know make sure you get it out right contact blue blue and five percent Okay, and we're going to deselect here. I'm going to pick out the yellow real quick. And, you know, these tutorials, um, you know, they all run about 10 minutes long or so. And you can kind of see that, you know, with a little bit of practice, you can, uh, you can, you know, simple stuff like this, you can run through pretty quick. Okay, and that's yellow yellow and I want to show you the benefits of uh, of doing this on a white base and doing it in Photoshop because it's a really really cool marketing tool here because I've, I've literally sold turned you know 200 piece orders into 500 piece orders just from this little technique that I'm going to show you and that's going to be flesh okay five percent Do I have it all? Sure does. Okay. No, I don't either. I have to get the blue out of the, the navy blue out of there. Color range. And a lot of times when you're picking, pick the spot that has the, the, the biggest spot of color so you can select it nice. Um, because with, with these types of spot colors, 
you know, it's relatively easy. You just have to you know, pick your big areas, go in there and get them. You know, it's not like, you know, you get into the really detailed stuff where you have to kind of like really kind of focus on where you're putting it. Okay, so we've got our white base and our... F so what I'm going to be printing first is the yellow. So we're going to readjust the chip. We're going to print the white first, then the yellow, then the contact blue, then the flesh, then the little metallic gold, maybe the black, and then the navy. And like I said, hit the tab, and there we go. It's exactly the way it should look when you print it. Now, the, this whole marketing tool I've been telling you about, uh, you bring a customer in and you say, hey, look at your artwork here. I've got it separated. And you'll see it's, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven colors, okay? You're going to hit that white twice. It's going to be like a sheet of plastic, okay? One thing you might want to do is say the customer... And a lot of customers don't really know what color shirt they want it on. They're going back and forth between this gray, that gray, or maybe some other color. You can actually show them on screen, like by going in here and saying, here's what it's going to look like on, on blue. This is what it's going to look like on royal blue. This is what it's going to look like on, on navy blue. Maybe they want to put it on yellow, or maybe this uh, this green color, or maybe they want maybe like a like a denim color. And see, check this out. And you show them different colors, and you know, hey, maybe they'll go because it doesn't matter to you because all the colors are the same. This will work out in any color shirt you put it on, even black. I mean, we'll even put it on black here to show you. You put it on black and check it out. It's the it's the same thing. You know, you're putting down the same amount of colors, no matter what color shirt. The only difference is, is you know, maybe the customer wanted a hundred shirts. And say, hey, maybe I would, maybe I would like to have a hundred of the denim colored shirts and a hundred of the gray shirts. Sometimes you can turn that in, turn that around a little bit. But just to recap here, is your white base and how it was created. Um, Eighty-five percent solidity, and that works out great. All right. See you in next part.